Welcome to Legal Basics with Cyril Lotlopo and my name is Hian. Today on part two of the intellectual property series, we're going to discuss copyrights. I'm sure most of us have seen the word copyright somewhere in a textbook, in a storybook, in a movie, but do we understand what a copyright is? Now, a copyright is a form of intellectual property that protects or the expression of original work or original ideas. Unlike other forms of intellectual property, it does not protect the idea, it only protects the expression. For example, if you went somewhere and you heard someone say a story and then you stole aspects of that story and you retold it, this person would have a very big problem to prove that you stole aspects of your story from their story because its expression has not been put in a tangible form. A tangible form would be in a song, in a recording, in written literature. Now, uh, for copyrights, protection is not conferred by registration. A copyright exists the moment that an original idea has been expressed in a tangible form. So that means a person who is unregistered and a person who has registered a copyright of a piece of work can both go after their protected rights of copyright. Now, unlike patents that require you to have novelty, a copyright does not need novelty. A copyright only requires that there be originality. Uh, let me give an example. So you want to create a global song and then you decide you want to have drums from South America, you want to have the flute from South Africa, you want to have a tune from North America, but you want to put all these things together into one song. So long as all these things together into that particular song has been your original work, then you can have copyright in that. As you can see, the drums and the flute and the sound and the tune are not novel things. They are things that have existed in the world, but the fact that you have put that expression together originally, that is what will give you a copyright. Now, different jurisdiction protects copyright for different lengths of time. For countries that are members of the WTO and a lot of Commonwealth countries, the term of protection for a copyright is the life of the maker plus 50 years. That is 50 years after the, their death. So unlike other forms of intellectual property, the property in a copyright continues to exist even after the inventor or the maker has already passed on to another life. Now, although copyrights do not necessarily need to be registered for them to be enforced, what are some of the advantages of registration of a copyright? First of all, when you do register a copyright, anybody else who claims that copyright would have to be the one to prove that you are not the original inventor. So it shifts the burden of proof from yourself to any other person that may be claiming copyright. Secondly, you are able to give licenses. A license, for instance, could be given by a person who is the original maker of a song to a company that wants to use that same song for advertising. If you do not have a registered copyright, then you would not have a legal, uh, <coughs> a legal uh, creation with, with which you can give licensing. Thirdly, as the world is growing and increasingly recognizing intellectual property rights as forms of property, some financial institutions now are accepting intellectual property as a form of security for financing. So without registration, you basically will not have the title documents to your intellectual property and registration will then enable you to be able to take some kind of financing against your property. I hope that today's broadcast has been useful to you. Please write to us 
at sarahloveglobal at gmail.com. We will be happy to hear from you. Protect your loved ones. Bye-bye.